Today I will show you how you can create these awesome before and after videos for your Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts simple and fast in Final Cut Pro. So yeah, to make it as easy as possible for me to create these before and after videos, I decided to create a plugin template that I can use to create these kind of videos faster. So let me show you how you can use it as well. So here we are in Final Cut and first we need to decide if we want to create a vertical reel or if you want to create a basic video for YouTube for example. Let's say we want to create a reel or short. So in this case we have a vertical timeline like this one here and now it's time to load our plugin. To do that just download the plugin from my shop and drag and drop this plugin folder right here into your Final Cut Pro titles folder. In most cases it's located in the movie section and here you can find the folder motion templates. Click on that and you should find the titles folder. Again just drag and drop the plugin folder into this folder and it should appear now in Final Cut after a quick restart. Now back in Final Cut just head over to the titles tab and here you can find the before and after plugin. And yes there are actually two versions. First the horizontal version for basic YouTube videos for example and of course the vertical version as well for shorts and reels. The only difference between these two versions is just the format so vertical or horizontal. For this tutorial we definitely want to create a reel so just drag and drop the vertical option into your timeline. Now let's talk about how to use the plugin. First of course you need a photo or even a video that you want to use and here you need one before the edit and one final result. In this case let's use a photo so simply drag and drop them into your timeline and the next step is to link them. The before photo needs to be in the before drop zone right here and the after photo needs to be in the second drop zone that you can find right here as well. So in this case just select the drop zone and next select the before photo in your media folder and click on apply. Basically now the first photo is linked. Repeat that with the after photo. Just select the drop zone next to your final result image and here we go it's linked. You can also adjust the position size and rotation of your images as well if you need it but if you export 9 by 16 photos you shouldn't have any issues here. If you now quickly watch our videos you can see that we already got the transition. So the next step is to add the color palette effect. And here you can currently choose between three options. The first one is the box theme, the second one is the circle palette theme and the third one is the basic circle theme. You can activate or deactivate each theme by using these little buttons right here. Let's say we want to use the circle palette theme. So just click on this button to activate it and the next step is to add the colors for our palette. Just head over to the theme area right here and select the first color. Now use the color pick tool to pick the color of your final result to add it to your color palette. So yeah you can see that's really easy and now it's time to repeat that for each of the five layers. So let's pick the second one and let's use this color right here. Now the third one let's use this one right here. Now it's time to pick number four and of course number five. And basically that's it. You can easily export your images and post it on Instagram or YouTube. But you can do one last step and I've also added a text area that you can use to add the before and after text as well. Of course you can also activate and deactivate that as well but just in case if you want to add some text you can use that as well or just use the custom ones in Final Cut. Of course I always highly recommend to add some music and sound effects to your videos but that's fully up to you. And yeah that's basically it. That's how you can create these before and after color palette videos faster in Final Cut Pro. If you want to check out the plugin it's linked down below so definitely check that out. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're new, don't forget to smash that subscribe button to stay updated for our upcoming videos and I'll see you in the next video.